here i will repeat your question that uh, the christians say that jesus christ is coming back the muslim also say he's coming back we believe that our nabi kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam the holy prophet muhammad is khatimun nabiyin is the last of the prophets there shall be no prophets after him but when jesus christ comes he is a prophet so how can he come when the khatimun nabiyin has already come that is a problem but there is is no real problem you see if you take any worldly example the shah of iran you know the shah of iran i think in 1953 he ran away he had to flee and america through certain machination they put him back again but suppose suppose he was not reinstated and another shah was taking his place and then this guy returns he returns to the country he said look amnesty is granted to him what is he returning as shah his title is the shah muhammad shah pehlavi right but is he returning as a shah or as a subject of khomeini he's returning as a subject a king abdicates he's a king king george the 5th said say abdicate or 6 he abdicates he still got the title he was king george the 5th the 6th and there is another king said last king of britain was so and so right but this guy is still alive after 80 years 90 years is still there or he comes back from another country you say well king george you know will say add certain thing but he's still king but he's not the king of the place he's got the title so the prophet is a prophet but what does he come and do a prophet's job is to give you new guidance a new revelation a new wahi we muslims we don't need anything new allah tells us in the quran long before just a little before our prophet passed away he said al yawma akmaltu lakum deenukum says this day i have perfected for you your religion wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati and have completed my favors unto you wa raditu lakum al islam adina and have willed that islam should be your religion finish you don't need another prophet a masih or a mahdi to come and tell you that instead of making three rakats for maghrib you make four You don't have anybody to come and tell you that you fast now for 40 days instead of 30. You don't need anybody to come and teach you anything. Everything that Allah wanted to give you, He's given it to you in Al-Hadith Kalam and in the life example of the Prophet. So what is He going to come and do? See, the question still remains: What is He going to come and do? I said, Look, the answer is in the Christian Bible. It's not our problem; it's a Christian's problem. I said, This is in your book, the Bible, the Holy Bible. in the gospel of saint matthew there is a book called the gospel of saint matthew it is the first book of the new testament you see this book the bible is 66 books this is an encyclopedia of 66 books divided into old testament and new testament in the new testament there are matthew mark luke john and so on 27 books the first book is called matthew gospel of saint matthew so in the gospel of saint matthew we are told supposed to be the words of jesus He says many will say to me on that day of his second coming or the last day yawm al qiyama many will say to me on that day lord lord like god god did we not prophesy in thy name and in thy name cast out devils and in thy name do many mighty works did we do so many things for you You know, we went and looked after the lepers. You know, these backward nations of the earth. We brought them into your religion. We baptized them. You know, we built orphanages for them. We built hospitals for them. We educated them. Did we do all these things in your name? And we took out devils out of people in your name. So Jesus, in answer to that, he says, "Then will I profess unto them. Then I will tell them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Get away, you rubbish. I don't even know you." I said, "That's why he's coming." to tell you that you are off the track see i said who is doing all these things in the name of jesus muslims do we cast out devils from people in the name of jesus do we do we build orphanages in the name of jesus or the hindus or the buddhists or the atheists who does it the christian he is doing in the name of jesus so i said he's going to tell you not the jews he won't tell the Jew, jews get away rubbish he won't tell the hindus get away rubbish he won't tell the muslims get away rubbish he's going to tell you You who say Jesus is Lord, God, Lord, God is right. 
He says, get away from me. I don't even know you because you are off the track. Instead of worshipping the one and only true God, you're worshipping Jesus. For that reason, he's coming back to put you to the right track. We don't need anybody. We don't need a Masih. We don't need a Mahdi. If the time comes, if they come, he says, welcome. But don't wait for anybody. Nobody's going to pull the chestnut out of the fire for you. You will have to do your own work. Then we have been sitting back. We are waiting. The Muslim world has been waiting. That's why brought to this condition. We are in the gutter because you're waiting for somebody to pull you out of the gutter. Nobody's going to pull you out of the gutter. This is not Allah's law. So Allah says, Inna Allah la yukhajiru ma bi qawmin hatta yukhajiru ma bi anfasir. Say Allah will not change the condition of a people.